Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 16th of 2024 is titled Pluto at Night. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the dwarf planet known as Pluto. And that is seen at night, meaning that we've gone around behind the planet because we cannot see a nighttime view of Pluto from our location on Earth. We're very close to the sun relative to Pluto. And as we look outward toward any of the outer objects in the solar system, we will always see them fully illuminated. So we're not seeing the nighttime side. In order to see that, we've got to travel out beyond that object and look back behind. And here, this is from the New Horizons craft, which flew by Pluto in July of 2015. So it had now passed Pluto and was heading out looking back. So as it flew by very quickly, it was able to get a lot of images as it came in and then would keep its cameras turned towards Pluto during the encounter until it got far enough away. So as it was close, closing in, it would point towards Pluto and then it would kind of turn as it passed by Pluto, imaging Pluto and some of its larger moons. Now, this was about 20 minutes after it was the closest to Pluto in its orbit. Now, as we see, we don't see a lot of features here because uh, you because of the positioning. We're looking at the nighttime side. It's very dark and you're not going to see, although up towards the top, you can see a little bit of the structure of the surface of Pluto, the very icy surface, and that is what is known as the Sputnik Planitia. And that is a relatively smooth plain up there as well as some of the mountains off to the side as well. Now one of the other things that we are seeing looking back on it is Pluto's atmosphere. Now Pluto is much smaller, much, much smaller than our moon or any other most of the other objects in the solar system. And therefore it you wouldn't might think it would not have an atmosphere because an atmosphere needs gravity to hold the particles to the object. And in this case, Pluto is able to have an atmosphere, a very thin one, because of the very cold temperatures. So having an atmosphere really requires two things. It requires sufficient amount of gravity from the object to hold the particles in place. And it requires that the temperatures be cool enough. So that means that the particles are moving slowly enough that they are unable to achieve escape velocity. So while Pluto does not have a very large escape velocity, it, it the particles are moving so slow that actually nitrogen particles can remain in the atmosphere for a time. Now, how long that atmosphere lasts really depends because Pluto is in a very elliptical orbit and is heading outward away from our sun. And as it cools off, it's quite likely that a lot of that atmosphere will freeze onto the planet's surface, waiting hundreds of years until Pluto comes back in closer to the sun, warms it up and its atmosphere would then return. So that was our picture of the day for November 16th of 2024. It was titled Pluto at Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be windblown. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.